thank you very much uh, for the invitation. So it's a pleasure to, to give a talk. So I, I will speak about a, a joint work with uh, Daniel Furelli. Uh, so, and I will focus my talks on uh, arithmetic uh, progression. So uh, uh, I, I will speak about uh, higher moments for, of primes in arithmetic progression. So, uh, so uh, as uh, may, many people here know, uh, uh, the, the prime number it arithmetic progression is expressed using uh, so the, the psi function psi x q a. So it's the sum of the land uh, von Mangel function uh, capital lambda of n. Uh, for n less than x and uh, n congruent to a mod q. So we take a co prime to q, of course. And what we expect is that uh, uh, we expect that uh, th this cardinality is uh, asymptotic to uh, psi of x, so the, the sum without the condition on the congruence uh, over uh, phi of q. And uh, in fact, this is the case uh, uh, uniformly in the range when Q is, uh, is less than a power of uh, log X. <clears throat> so uh, uh, an under uh, generalized Riemann hypothesis, so I mean, uh, 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 Riemann hypotheses on a, a zeta function, but also on a, a L function associated to Dirichlet uh, character. We can go up to uh, Q less than uh, uh, power of X, little uh, less than uh, a square root of X. And <clears throat> Following uh, Montgomery, we, we can expect that the error term is around uh, uh, is less than a, a, a small power of x uh, times the square root of the, the <coughs> expected value. So this is x uh, over phi of q. <coughs> so uh, of course, uh, we, we, we can't prove such a result. So we will see uh, what we can do. So what we will do is that we, we will try to, to study the equidistribution, uh, studying the moment when we sum over A, A co prime to Q. So I will define a capital M of N, uh, index n of x q the 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 mean value of the uh, n powers of the difference between uh, psi of x q a and uh, the expected uh, value. <coughs> so for n equal to, you, you, you have a, a variance and there is a, some result of Barban, uh, Davenport, Albertam, and then also uh, Montgomery and uh, uh, Oulet, um, who provide uh, an uh, ex expected, uh, uh, well, uh, an asymptotic revelation but when you sum over Q, so you take the uh, one over capital Q, sum of uh, Q less than capital Q of uh, phi Q uh, M index two of X Q. And this is asymptotic to X log of uh, capital Q for a uh, large Q. So Q between uh, X and X over a power of log X. Uh, and uh, you see, uh, it's easier in a, an analytic uh, number theory when you 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 do an average uh, on a Q. So, uh, but we, uh, if you want uh, 
um, smaller val uh, value of capital Q, there is a very nice uh, result of a uh, recent result of, of upper and uh, uh, sound. Um, and uh, they, they prove a, a lower bond uh, of the size of uh, one minus epsilon time X uh, time uh, log of Q square over X minus uh, C log log X, but uniformly in a large range. So uh, in between X and uh, square root uh, time a power of log X on uh, their method um, is based on a circle method. But a very nice result. Uh, so very few results uh, were obtained when n equal uh, is larger than three. Uh, so Hulé uh, in 1977 uh, conjecture uh, the following estimate. So it's a if you take the, the mean value of phi q uh, power n uh, over two times m of n uh, of x q, uh, he, he, he expected that uh, it's, it's uh, uh, x uh, log of capital Q power n over two times uh, the, the value nu of n, so it's a, a little o of one, not a capital O of one. So it's an asymptotic relation. And mu of n is the nth uh, moment of the standard uh, Gaussian law. Uh, and uh, with uh, Daniel, uh, uh, we will uh, try to convince you that we can conjecture that uh, uh, we, in a large uh, range of uh, small, uh, small Q. So Q between uh, log log X power one plus epsilon and uh, X power one minus epsilon. Uh, we can expect uh, the asymptotic formula M index N of XQ is equal uh, or is asymptotic to uh, mu of N times uh, X log Q over phi of Q power n over two. Uh, and to support uh, this conjecture, we, we will uh, establish lower bounds of moments of weight moments. And uh, I will uh, present a, a, a probabilistic model based on linear independence of the zero of the Dirichlet L functions. But I will uh, underline uh, the fact that we, we, we don't have to uh, assume the linear independence. So uh, linear independence that I will present, uh, it's uh, just a guide to, uh, to, 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 to have, uh, to, to support a, a probabilistic uh, model. Okay, so uh, I will uh, um, uh, explain uh, what uh, what some I, I will try to study. So uh, I will uh, uh, take a eta function, and uh, I will add on uh, on the sum that we previously uh, um, study. Uh, a weight, so uh, one over square root of n times uh, eta of uh, log of n over x. So if you uh, uh, take eta with a compact support, uh, you see that uh, you will uh, have uh, n, for, for example, is a support is uh, included in uh, zero one, you have n less than uh, x. And uh, uh, so you have uh, the weight one over square root of n, and it's very important. 
So what we expect, uh, the value that we expect is, this, is the same sum uh, with the coprimality uh, co co conditions that n is co prime to q and uh, uh, factor one over phi q. Um, so here, uh, chi zero q is the principal character modulo uh, q. And then uh, what we want to study is the asymptotic relation about the moment uh, capital M index N of x q eta is the, the mean value of the nth power of the difference between uh, psi uh, eta x q a and a psi eta x uh, of the principal uh, character over uh, phi q. So um, uh, it's very close to what we uh, uh, introduced uh, previously. So we will take Q equal uh, three since uh, for Q uh, equal uh, one, uh, for Q equal two is nearly zero. And uh, using uh, orthogonality of uh, directly character. So we, we have the nice formula. So I, I will take some uh, times to explain it. So, uh, the, the sum here uh, of a psi of eta x chi is the sum of the character uh, with uh, a weight uh, chi of n. And the sum is over uh, n, uh, n character, none equal to the principal character, but such that the product of uh, this character is the principal character modulo Q. So here the, the, the character Q1, Q N is modulo Q, okay? So of course it's a, a, a trivial result, but very important to see that we can link the uh, nth moment uh, to uh, such a, a sum associated to character which is uh, non-principal. Uh, non uh, okay, yeah, so uh, I will uh, try to explain how we can explicitly uh, link uh, such a sum with a character uh, to the sum over um, zero of uh, uh, Dirichlet L function. So I will take uh, eta, an even uh, function differential uh, satisfying as, uh, oh, sorry, a bond uh, on, um, for, so for eta, but also for the derivative of eta. So the bond is exponential of minus one half plus delta uh, times the absolute value of t. And uh, for the Fourier transform, we have also a bond, uh, but it, so it's a little smaller than uh, one plus one over uh, the absolute value of C plus one. And, <clears throat> and the following explicit formula. So here I, I assume G R. Uh, GRH, uh, but of course we we, we can uh, uh, set up a, a such a formula without assuming uh, GRH. And we have the such a, a, a nice formula. So it's a sum over a non-trivial zero of the L function. So what is a non-trivial zero? It's a zero between uh, which uh, the, well, here, as I assume, uh, G, GRH, um, 
the the zero is on a critical line, uh, so the real part is one half, but non-trivial zero is the zero between where the real part is between zero and one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so uh, so the first step is, uh, to to get uh, an asymptotic for my uh, nth moment is to replace. Uh, the, the first sum uh, by the sum over a uh, non trivial zero. And uh, uh, what uh, is that why we, 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 we will introduce a probabilistic model? So we, we, we take a capital Z index gamma and a random variable. Uh, such that the expectation of uh, a product of such uh, random variable is one if the sum of the uh, gamma is zero and zero otherwise. So it's a kind of uh, orthogonality relation and then uh, if we define a capital H uh, index N, uh, which is uh, written here on my slide. So it's a uh, minus one power N over phi Q power N. A summation of a uh, character like previously. So it's non-principal, but the product of the N characters uh, is a principle and we sum over uh, so the zero so here the imaginary part of the zero we we have the product of the Fourier transform uh, of uh, eta in the uh, with the argument uh, gamma over two pi and uh, the product of uh, the uh, random uh, variable associated to uh, uh, gamma uh, k1, uh, gamma uh, kn. And uh, uh, the, expect, uh, the expectation of uh, such a variable, h index n, is the sum uh, where uh, you 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 add the condition that the sum of the imaginary part of the zero is zero, uh, and uh, we can show that uh, h of n is a limiting limiting distribution of uh, m index n, and uh, so uh, now I, I will explain. Um, so. Uh, yes, okay, so uh, I will explain what I will study. So I will study moments of moments. Uh, what does it mean? So you, you, you remember that M index N is a moment over uh, A mod Q. And now I will take um, the moment of uh, such a quantity, so with a, uh, I introduce um, the phi function, capital phi, uh, in L1, R, even. And uh, I will uh, assume uh, later that uh, the Fourier transform of the, this uh, function is uh, non negative. So it's a very important assumption. But if I take um, this moment, I will be uh, able replacing um, m of n by uh, what we uh, the sum of uh, uh, the the zero of uh, l function. We have a, a, a such a, a nice formula. So it's a summation where there is a factor minus one power s time n over two of uh, phi q power s um, n. And we have a sum of uh, 
an, an array, a set of arrays of character. So I, I have S time N character and uh, each one is non principal and uh, I have for each uh, uh, index mu less than S, uh, the product of the nth character, so the product of a, a J less than N is the principal character. And then after I have a second sum over, uh, uh, over zero, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. So, so I have a set of uh, associated array of non-trivial zero. Uh, and uh, I have a, um, what I uh, write uh, uh, the, the, the full uh, eta at with uh, um, a gamma. Is, is this is a product over uh, the Sn uh, value of the Fourier transform of eta in uh, gamma over two pi. Okay, and then I have also the Fourier transform of uh, the phi function in T times uh, a, a sum of uh, all imaginary part over two pi. And then I have also an error term, but I, I, I want to focus uh, my talk on, on the main term. Okay, so is it clear? Uh, is there any question about uh, such a formula? So you see, it's very simple. You use uh, the explicit formula and uh, you add, uh, you, you, you introduce a moment of moments and you have uh, such a formula. Okay, so now um, I will uh, compare uh, capital M of index N to uh, his mean value. So I will uh, see that uh, small M index N, so is the limit when T tends to infinity, of uh, the moment of m of n, so, well, so, so of the mean value of m of n. So I, I, I see that this is exactly what we have in the probabilistic model. And then what we want to, uh, uh, in fact, study is the moment of moment, but when you, uh, you, you take a capital M of N less uh, minus this uh, expected value. And uh, for technical reason, it's very important to, to choose a small M index N uh, here in the, the moment, uh, rather, than the, the empirical uh, expectation. I mean, uh, uh, when you, you, you have um, the, the in, uh, well, this term, so what we have in the limit, so one over uh, T uh, with the mean value of uh, um, capital phi, and uh, the integral between zero and infinite, uh, uh, infinity with um, m of n exponential t. Uh, so I, I, I really, uh, it's a really important uh, aspect because uh, without uh, this choice, uh, we, we can't prove our result. So now, uh, so, uh, capital, uh, well, I, I will say capital V of S of N, uh, such a moment, uh, I, I will try to uh, use uh, the, the previous uh, formula we, that I wrote with the moment. So you remember the, the, the main term, and then we, we have a, a, such a formula with a, uh, a function that I uh, 
that I wrote in red. So capital of delta index S. And uh, so uh, I have uh, uh, the, the, the weight that I previously uh, uh, wrote. Uh, so this product of uh, uh, eta uh, transformation of uh, uh, Fourier transform uh, of eta. And uh, um, uh, I have uh, uh, the, the nice formula. So what is the sigma mu? Is the sum of uh, one over two pi uh, times the sum of uh, j between one and n of the uh, gamma associated to uh, chi mu j. And uh, I have, uh, so uh, developing the power uh, of uh, S, uh, I have this formula. And what I can prove is uh, this is a, a form of, uh, a, a nice uh, inequality. So the, the del capital delta uh, index S is larger than uh, this uh, a, a capital delta of S which not depend of T, which is one if the sum uh, of the gamma is zero, but, but without, um, but for each mu, sigma mu, which is the sum uh, 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 related to the sum of the gamma, but uh, between um, j equal one and n, is not zero. So, so the, uh, the, 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 the complete sum is zero, but each term is not zero. And if I, uh, I don't have such a, a relation, uh, I, I, I have delta of S equals zero. And uh, you, you can prove it very easily, but it's a nice uh, result uh, because it, it, it's what, uh, it's the reason why we, we choose um, little m index n. Okay, so uh, now uh, I will use the uh, this inequality to, to get uh, the, a lower bound of uh, my uh, moment of moments. So I mean, if I take minus one power Sn times uh, V of uh, index Sn, is uh, uh, larger than uh, the um, uh, uh, such a sum uh, we, which is uh, uh, in a certain way the sum associated to the probabilistic model plus an error term. So, uh, so I will. Uh, I will have the, the same notation as previously. That means that I have an uh, array of characters, an array of uh, imaginary part of the non-trivial zero associated to the L function. And uh, um, I, I have this, uh, capital delta of S function, which is uh, zero, except if the sum of each uh, subsum uh, is zero and the subsum is never zero. Okay, so now uh, I will try to uh, explain what is the uh, uh, hypothesis Li. So it's a, uh, an hypothesis uh, on uh, linear independency. So he, he says that uh, there is no non-trivial relation between the zero 
of the L function. So for example, what is a, a, a trivial relation is, for example, if uh, one half plus I uh, gamma is a zero of the L function associated to uh, chi, a character modulo Q, then uh, the conjugate uh, one half minus I uh, gamma is uh, a zero of the L function associated to uh, chi bar, uh, which is uh, uh, the conjugate uh, character. So this means that if we have uh, gamma one, gamma n, uh, the, uh, the ordinates of non-trivial zero of the L function associated to chi one, chi n, non-principal character, under this assumption, when we, you have uh, the, the sum equals zero, then n is odd, uh, is even, sorry. So n uh, is equal to two times n, m. And uh, we, we can uh, split uh, the set in two parts with the uh, index uh, i, one until uh, i index m, and g one until uh, g uh, index m, such that the sum of, of two ordinate of uh, associated to, um, to uh, i, k, and j, k, the sum of the two ordinate equals zero, and uh, the, the two associated ca character is conjugate. Of course, uh, the, the, the choice uh, of uh, this index is not always uh, unique, and uh, it will be uh, a, a very difficult, uh, there will be a, a lot of combinatorics uh, to handle uh, the, this problem. So, that the, so the problem is that the, the index uh, are, the indexes are, are, are not unique. Okay, so the easy consequences is that if you, if you believe to uh, uh, G, R, G or H and uh, uh, linear independency, uh, and you take uh, uh, odd power of uh, H of N, the probabilistic, uh, associated to the probabilistic model, the expectation equals zero. So why? Because if you split, if you replace H of N by the, by the, the sum, uh, on the uh, ordinate of the zero, uh, you you will need uh, you you have a sum of a, uh, mu uh, between one uh, to two m plus one uh, and a, a j between one on two uh, two r plus one. So I mean there is the uh, uh, odd um, number of uh, gamma, so such that if the sum is zero, it's, uh, it, it can be uh, satisfied because we believe to the linear independency. So this means that we will uh, uh, restrict our study to the uh, even number the sum of, you know, of uh, on uh, even number of uh, zero. Okay. Is it clear? So I will continue. So, uh, but to get the lower bound, uh, hypothesis uh, Li isn't necessary. Why? Because in the sum, 
we 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 have non-negative uh, term, so we can uh, delete. We can avoid uh, any term uh, that uh, we any term who, who, who doesn't satisfy uh, our uh, hypothesis. I mean, uh, we, we can uh, just restrict our sum to the sum over uh, the zero, such that, uh, in fact, uh, when you have uh, uh, the, such a sum equals zero, then we can uh, gather uh, the, the zero by pairs, such that the sum of uh, uh, the two ordinates equals zero, and such that the characters uh, are conjugate. And this is uh, possible thanks to the positivity of the uh, Fourier transform of eta on uh, of the uh, phi function. So now uh, we, we will introduce so, uh, more combinatorics. So it's a very difficult part of the paper, but I will try to explain in the, yeah. using some example, how, how does it work? Um, uh, so, uh, uh, I will assume that there is, uh, I will introduce a set of, of involution between uh, two, uh, be, be, be with a set of the, uh, the, between one and two R times one and two uh, until N. So the Cartesian product, and what I will expect is that there is no uh, uh, fixed point in this set of evolution. I mean, when I have the relation such as the gamma associated to chi mu j uh, is a minus uh, of gamma associated to chi uh, pi mu j, then uh, mu j is not equal to pi mu j. And then uh, we, we have also the, the conjugate relation between the character. <clears throat> um, okay, so I will uh, introduce a set capital uh, J of mu nu such that, so the, the, the first coordinate of uh, pi mu uh, cross uh, one n uh, is uh, intersect uh, mu. Uh, so I mean, uh, so the, the first coordinate is uh, uh, of the image over uh, pi is mu. And uh, as it, this is an involution, uh, there is a co the, the link between the cardinality of such a set, so capital J mu nu, and uh, capital J mu nu. So we have some relations that we can prove on the cardinality. I will uh, not explain why. And uh, so we 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 gather uh, the 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 character in a product, uh, which is a, a product of all uh, value in uh, capital J mu nu. And uh, what we can prove is that the main contribution comes from the fact. Uh, where there exists only um, for each mu, there exists only one mu such that uh, capital J mu nu of uh, associated to the involution 
is not zero. So I mean, assume uh, an array of character. Uh, I, I have written uh, all the relations that you need uh, on the, the Dirichlet character. So uh, uh, I, I have uh, um, uh, I have uh, uh, sixteen product, but as uh, each product is uh, related, I have only uh, eight product, and you will see that uh, each product such as mu equal new is uh, the principal character. So the condition that I get is uh, the following four condition on uh, each product, and. Uh, what I uh, wrote, uh, wrote here is that I, I take an example. So I assume that uh, we, we uh, assume that uh, to I only uh, two product of capital of, of characters such so that uh, it's uh, not non-empty. So, for example, uh, I will take one, two, and three, four, and if and, and the other one is just empty product. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, then, uh, with this additional assumption, I have only two uh, relation to to be checked, and. Uh, uh, so this is the, the main contribution come from such a, a combinatorial situation. And after it's easy to count uh, the number of uh, such uh, arrays of, of uh, characters. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I now can uh, restrict uh, my uh, counting on a such uh, set on, on involution. So, uh, and uh, I will have uh, some uh, nice calculation to get. Uh, so I will explain what, I, what will be my, my result. So my result, uh, for my result on the, uh, uh, so the moment of moment in the uh, probabilistic model. So I, I will use uh, a nice formula. So I mean, I, uh, I will have to count uh, such a, a sum. So with uh, eta uh, a transform square, but with uh, the, in the sum, uh, the, the multiplicity, I have also the square of the multiplicity. But uh, as I just uh, interested uh, by a lower bound, I, I uh, um, use that this square is less than the multiplicity. And then I have uh, such a lower bound. And it's an important fact. And it's not, uh, well, uh, we expect that the multiplicity is one. So we expect that is an, equi an equality and not non an inequality. But uh, and now we can estimate such a sum using uh, some result on the zero of the L function. It's around the mean value of the square of the Fourier transform times log Q. And then, uh, we can set our uh, theorem, so our main theorem. So if we uh, restrict to uh, two R, so an even moment, uh, we get a lower bound with the variance V capital V of N uh, is a constant that I uh, wrote here, times uh, the alpha value times log Q power N over uh, phi Q power N plus one. And uh, for the odd uh, moment, it's much more uh, uh, 
in cricket, difficult to state. So uh, I have written here the result. So what we see is uh, here V index N is power two R plus one over two. And I have an additional uh, term, one over phi, uh, the square root of phi Q. So this means that when Q tends to infinity, this is a, a little o of uh, Vn power two R plus one over two. And it's what we expect in a, a Gaussian distribution. Okay. And if we be, so the, this result, I, I need to underline it. Uh, this result is without the LE hypothesis. But if we believe to the LE hypothesis, we can check that this is a good um, estimate. I mean, so it's a very difficult uh, result to prove because the combinatoric is very uh, difficult to handle, but we, we, we are able to prove that, uh, to prove an asymptotic relation for the variance, uh, for the moments of the model. And uh, or, uh, moreover, we, we have some uniform result on, on uh, R and N, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a, a, a good point because we, we can uh, prove some omega uh, result on, uh, on, uh, on the, the difference between uh, uh, psi xqa minus what we expect. And I, I add also a nice result. If you take a equal one, we, we, we don't need to have a moment of a sum of our A, but we, we, we can just look at this moment and we, we can prove a lower bond. Thank you for your attention.